All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna have a little discussion, and it's your boy from downtown China. It's Bao Song guy, and today we're gonna have a little discussion, and it's gonna make some people mad, and it's gonna make some people happy, and we're gonna talk about it, and we're using this as a reference. Now you may be wondering what what are we talking about? Um, well, we're talking about tang pins. And why I'll probably not be buying the V2... Let me turn on the light. You guys can't see sh anything. Um, and it's why I will most likely not be buying the V2 Nautilus from... Uh, what brand was it? The one? No. Not the one. That one's bad. From... Uh, Arm Shark. Yeah. I'll probably not be buying it because of our wonderful not at all loved friends the tang pin and you might be wondering oh why are you using this as a reference because this is one of my biggest mistakes ever made um this thing it, it's an utter fail in terms of both financial and flipping wise and aesthetic wise not only is it really small it has insane tap and the play it's embarrassing for what I paid. I paid like upwards 50 bucks for this. Well, no, it's like 500 RMB, five or 600. It was way too much money for the price. Or it was way too much money for the quality that I was getting. And I was also disappointed to realize that I made the grave mistake of buying something that has tang pins. Because there's a number of flaws when using tang pins in a balasong. And I'm not really sure what they benefit that Zen pins like press fit or hidden Zen pins don't already do. Um, maybe if you like a cleaner look on your blade or on your handles. But again, that doesn't really that matter that much because it's at the bottom. But anyways, I'm not sure. Um, but I've gotten a lot of complaints um, from just stories of people that have had bad experiences with tang pins and also my pretty bad experience with this, this Balasong, this Benchmade clone that I paid way too much money for and I'm extremely sad about because I want that money back so that I could get a Chab clone, but I don't know. Some people like tang pins, which is all right. I do not. And as many people know, the Armed Shark Nautilus uses tang pins. And looking at the functionality side, um, there's not too big of a difference from press fit or those. Except sometimes when you're doing tricks, your skin will get pinched between the, the blade and the tang pin, which just really sucks and doesn't feel great. And also, they're just not durable. Like, if you drop a tang pin, if you drop a balasong and it hits the tang pin and breaks the tang pin, it is such a hassle to get it repaired or replaced. And at my status um, of being a foreigner here that doesn't speak that well of Chinese, um, that would not be fun to try and get fixed if I had any problems. But... Yeah, that, that's just too many factors that I don't want to have to consider when I can just get a balasong that doesn't use tang pins. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be kind of upset because a lot of people wanted to see me buy the Nautilus clone, and I honestly love all of its aspects except the tang pins. If they made like a press fit zen pin type, um, like a zen pin that's press fit or maybe even sandwich or hidden would be kind of nice. But I just probably wouldn't, will never get anything that has tang pins again because just too many bad experiences and too many issues that can occur. And yeah, that's really today's topic. Some other little notes is our Discord's been popping off lately, and we're under a new mod management thanks to uh, Venom. And he, he keeps changing his name, but yeah, he's the mod. So you guys should come over and say hi. We got plenty of channels and entertainment, and yeah, we're just kind of chill over there. If you have questions for me, or want to send me mean gifts because I don't like tang pins, then so be it. 
you can join the Discord. Discord. And also you should subscribe, like always, but yeah. This thing is full titanium, but it sucks. It makes me so sad that I wasted such a large amount. Like, I bought this when I was still first getting into Battle Songs, so I was like, okay, so this one's popular, and everybody likes this one apparently, and I'm not going to look into any other Battle Songs, and I'm just going to buy this one. And I was fairly disappointed when I first got it, because I was like, this is not what I was expecting. It's way too small for my giant, clumsy, Bigfoot hands. And it's just, like, weird feeling, and, like, these edges, these Benchmade edges are sharp. Like, they cut into your skin a little bit if you are too rough with your tricks, which is quite annoying, but I guess this one is just for aesthetics. It's just to look pretty, I guess. But, yeah, this was one of my biggest flops ever. And thankfully, I got the Tsunami clone, which is way, way, way better, and way better of a flipper. I've cut my, I, um, I've accidentally done it too many oopsies on this one because it's just so bad quality and it's easy to mess up a trick or accidentally do a wrong move and just absolutely mess up your day like that where I almost just schloinkied myself. But yeah, anyways, that's my little, um, discussion for you guys today. So I'll probably post more on the wacky clone submissions and also just maybe some YouTube uh, community questions, I guess, on which ones I should buy next. Because, yeah, I like doing those and it seems to engage my community and you guys like it, so I'll keep doing it. Um, but you will probably not be seeing any Tang Pin type bow songs and please don't ask me to buy tang pin type bow songs because i will just not buy them and yeah i mean there i would try them but i definitely wouldn't want one i wouldn't want to pay more than too much for one that's what i'm trying to say and yeah that's all i really have for you guys today i know i've said that before i'm just trying to think of other things that i need to discuss um yeah, I need to make quite a few more review videos soon, because I have quite a few things to review still. And, yeah. Also, I'm curious which battle song you guys would like to see next, because I just saw that The One made a clone of the Volp, and the strange thing about it was that it was 7075 aluminum. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, like, I'm pretty sure that Will Hirsch's, like, the original design is only 66, 6063 or 6065. So that would be kind of weird. That would be, like, a first-time clone upgrade, almost, if it, like, upgraded material from the original. But, hey, I don't know. Everybody, I, I ask people if they've gotten it, and they're like, why would you buy a clone when you can just buy the original thing on Amazon when it's already cheap? But maybe maybe you guys would like to see a review or an unboxing of the the Volp, Volp clone. I don't know why they chose to clone the Volp. I'm still waiting for, like, a legit Squiddy clone. Like, I know there's knockoff, terrible, dookie Squiddy clones, that are like cheap and chintzy and they don't feel good they don't feel real i want like the one or maybe bally plus or it would be best if arm shark made it if arm shark could make like a maybe a squiddy a or U the the like ultem one because that one's the coolest like the p yellow one it's just looks really cool to me and you know arm shark is known for having good hardware so if they can make like a good squiddy clone that would be baller that would be bomb diggity i would buy it because like when i'm going across the borders or whatever to like hong kong or just anywhere in general i usually have to stick to like really crappy plastic clones for my travel buddies because i can't really i don't want to risk bringing a live well, definitely not live. I don't want to risk bringing, like, a 
a metal battle song because I feel like it'll be confiscated and that's just one of my fears when traveling with battle songs. So that's why I always travel with cheap chintzy little plastic ones that I don't really like. Oops, I just tapped my hand, but that's okay. But yeah, um, maybe I can try and reach out to Arm Shark if they have like a web, no, probably not a website. If they have like a email or something, I could ask them and see. Because like I would for sure buy like a squiddy a good squiddy clone from them that has like legit like maybe maybe not titanium but high quality hardware and maybe maybe floating washers would be nice and yeah i hope you all are having a great day it's a sunday night and i don't want to go to school tomorrow and before i cut myself i mean before i accidentally do an oopsie i'm going to say goodbye to you guys and go watch some youtube so See ya.